Like September, I fall down, down, down below. Now I know that the medicine be on call. Yeah, yeah. was feeling like you had enough to melt. Yeah. yeah, can't trust no one, can't even trust yourself. Yeah, and I love you, I don't love nobody else. Yeah, tell them they can take that bullshit elsewhere. Self care, I'm treating me right. Yeah, hell yeah, we gonna be. Alright, gon' be alright. I switch the time zone, but what do I know? Spending nights, bitch, hiking, where will I go? I can fly home with my eyes closed. But if you're kinda hard to see, there's no surprise though. And you can find me, I ain't hiding. I don't move my feet when I be gliding. I just slide it, and then I roll. Hello. Everyone, today I'm finally doing a review on the Squid Industries Triton. I've had this guy for over uh, one year now, and I'm gonna try to do a review on this guy. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, here are all the prices. Uh, of the tritons because there are anodized and inked tritons and that makes a lot of prices um, but anyway um, you can buy this at squidindustries.co um, the total length is 10 inches and the material is 6061 aluminum blade material is 304 stainless steel it has zen pins runs on phosphorus bronze washers it's a latchless channel design uh, and it comes with um, the sticker and with this nice box and just a little disclaimer, uh, what I'm flipping right now, this is a generation 1 Triton. Nowadays I think there's like generation 2 or 3, which are upgraded. Uh, they have rounded off the edges here. Uh, they have improved channel, which um, is thicker here. and. Um, sorry, it is skinnier here and wider here, so that there's not much blade tap and blade drop. But anyways, um, let's get into the, into all of the topics I want to talk about. So first, um, as I already said, the handles are made of aluminum, and usually there are two types of aluminum that are used in the belly sunk uh, making community or whatever the 6061 which is what this has and 7075 I think um, this is the softer material and it's also cheaper this is actually welded aluminum so it's the reason why it's so cheap and so soft and Due to it being so soft, it obviously dents very easily. Um, yeah, bronze or washers, phosphorus bronze washers, which are pretty smooth, have pretty good tolerances in my opinion. Uh, at least mine had. Um, this is actually a beater. So, but anyways, the tolerances are still pretty good, even though it's a beater. Uh, I think all Tritons will have tap. 
um, yeah, the sound um, it's not as good as as it was before, but even when I loop this, it's actually still pretty good, even though this is a one year beater. If I had some KPLA in there, it will still sound very good. Um, yeah, the Zen pins are nice and bouncy. Um, the Zen nipple will probably pinch you like a first hour or, or two when you get this, but uh, you can get used to it pretty quickly. <laughs> Just don't choke up on it so much. And as you can see, the Zen pins, um, they don't fall out, but they sometimes like to stick out a little bit. It's not really a big issue, I mean, it doesn't affect anything, basically. But, um, it's not very nice, but you can usually just put it on a table and push it, push it down. That will fix the issue. So, that's not a big problem. Uh, the handles are completely square. And they are a little rounded off at the edges, but I think it's like uh, the perfect combination for fans and twirls and everything in between. So it fans very good, it twirls very good. I can't twirl because I'm an idiot. Whatever. Um, there's this little notch on the blade you might think it's just like uh, visual design but it's actually uh, the thing that lets you know that you fucked up so if I were to do a um, let's say a chaplain on the bite side I can definitely feel that I fucked up so that's very good for beginners. The blade is um, not heat treated so that means there is a possibility that it will bend. It happens to me a few times but you can usually just fix it with your hands. Uh, that's actually the main difference between the squid trainer and uh, the Triton, that the Triton is not heat treated and the Squid Trainer is. Also the Squid Trainer has uh, textured handles and has better tolerances. Um, but anyway, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, also it's not crowned. Uh, it's not that it will be like super uncomfortable and like can cut you or something, but still not as comfortable as crowned uh, spines. I will show you what a crowned spine is. This is my chap clone. I did a review on this too. This has a crowned spine. You can see that it's like rounded off. It's very comfortable to do chaplains and stuff. So this this doesn't have a crowned spine. It's just like square. The handle gap got um, very small over the time, the handles basically touch at this point. Um, when I got it the handle gap was around this, like the whole circle in the blade. This one, um, you could see it when it was close, now you can't. And the handle gap was this like a year ago. No, it's not. Um, uh, I think it's because of the soft aluminum around the pivots right here. Um, yeah, flipping it's kinda as heavy um, due to the end of the handles being solid aluminum. Um, uh, overall very good flipper, very good with fans and uh, rollovers and chaplains and 
Yeah, it's just good with everything, honestly. Just a very good flipper. So, top it all off. Um, the pros. Um, it's a decent price point. It's uh, the cheapest one is for about a hundred dollars, which is an okay price. It's good beginner beginner Bali due to the price. This notch that it's a trainer. Um, yeah, you have lots of options uh, regarding colors. At least in the beginning, um, you saw that there are inked versions, which means that there is a blacked out blade. Scud Industries is a very good company, very trustworthy. Uh, so it's also very good. Um, the cons it dents very easily. The blade is not heat treated, so and the handle gap gets small over time so it's not a very good beater uh, it's always sold out in a matter of minutes uh, so yeah so would I recommend this trainer for a hundred dollars yes definitely it's one of the best trainers you can get that's there's also a Mako Mako from Squid Industries and a Sahara from uh, Gliderco, which are both for around 70 or 80 dollars I think. I'm not sure how they compare but I think the Triton is better quality. Um, but for a hundred forty five dollars which is a inked anodized version uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would rather go for the Squid Trainer. They are really good and much better than uh, um, the Tritons. So yeah, for a hundred dollars, yes, I would definitely recommend it. For a hundred and forty-five dollars, uh, no, buy the Squid Trainer. Uh, so yeah, that's everything I wanted to say. Um, Hope I helped you make your decision. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I will try to edit out the parts where I just talk shit and say nothing useful. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, peace. Bye.